Your Ass is Mine Productions would like to apologize for Willie the Slack-Jawed Yokel last week. He is no longer employed. And we return with Frederick Rutherford Helmsley IV doing our introduction. So thank you very much for understanding. Hello everyone and welcome to another fun episode of Story Talk with Your Ass is Mine. Sit back, relax, enjoy the music and the story that is about to be bestowed upon you. So without further ado, here we go. What's going on, everybody? It's your ass is mine. Nice to hear Frederick Rutherford Helmsley the third back. It's the fourth, you idiot. Fourth, fifth, whatever you are. Thanks for coming back. Little Dark Souls 2 in the background, the last center boss. Blah, blah, blah. That's not why we're here. So. I got set up on a blind date one time, and boy was I extremely happy with my friends. Let's just say that. So, we used to have the game Yahoo Messenger Roulette, which I spoke of in a previous video. I will link that in the description. Well, the rule of it was you couldn't see who you were going to meet, you know. It was a blind date. So there was nothing you could do about it. It would, that was the rule, it had to be a blind date. So, we would try to bend the rules as much as possible. You know, find out where they worked, or, you know, and sneak by and meet them, or whatever. You know, if we had time. But, anyways, so this one time, I met a chick online, and I said... Well, cool, you know, I, I got her to, you know, want to meet up and hang out and this, that, and the other. So before it happened, before I set anything in stone and gave her a date and time, I asked my roommate, Hector, to go and check her out, see what she looked like. And uh, she said she worked at, at Morrison's in the mall. So I said, well, you know, just swing by. Just, just get a glance. Her name's Stephanie. So... He comes back to me the next day and says, yeah, man, she's pretty hot. You know, you're going to like this one. So, of course. I'm like, man, that's awesome. Cannot wait. This is going to be cool. Finally meeting a hot chick off of here. So, a couple days pass. I set up a meeting between the two of us. And she ends up having to cancel. And she calls me back a couple days later and says, the only time that, that she can meet is on Monday night. Well, here's the problem with Monday night. Monday night was Monday night football, and we always went to the Imperial Palace Casino to watch the game. Edit. And at the time, my car was broke down. I was putting a new motor in my Mustang. So, I didn't really have a ride, so I always rode with somebody else, and she wanted to meet on Monday, and Hector gave me the idea, he said, well, dude, why don't you just have her come over to the house, and y'all have a few drinks, or whatever. I said, that's a good idea, man. So, that's what I said. So, I had no way out of this. Alright, so, they all go to Monday Night Football, I'm at the house, she calls me. About 9 o'clock and says, hey, which apartment do you live in? I'm pulling into the, the parking lot. And I told her which one it was. said, second floor, building F. So, I hear a car pull up. And, you know, and I hear those squeaky old hinges. Like, I have a 68 Fury and the hinges squeak. You know what I mean. Door shuts. Then I hear her coming up the stairs. Just thundering. Then there's a knock on my door. And I'm like, oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. So, I look through the peephole, and she takes up the whole peephole. And you know how the peephole vision skews it a little? No! Takes up the whole peephole. So, <laughs> I didn't answer the door. My phone's ringing off the hook. <laughs> I silenced it. Hid in the fucking back bedroom. 
and was like, oh, please go away. Eventually she goes away. Hector comes home, and I almost killed that motherfucker <laughs> for that shit. All he could do was laugh at me. I appreciate you guys listening. Thanks a lot.